A child is able to learn the concept of something much quicker than an adult would. The developmental process of a child is a process that depends on their interactions and surroundings, as well as how their brain develops. I am Paula Ortiz, and with the amount of research I have done, looking over Harvard's research and reviewing my psychology textbook from a previous course, I have found much information to talk about the development of a child. For the brain to start to develop, the child must first see, feel, and understand its surroundings for the brain to develop. That is why every individual grows differently. The, the environment a child is put in is a big part of how they develop. The relationship a child has with their parents is important to the growth of the child. Parenting is how the child knows the right from wrong, and without the guidance, guidance a child would be considered to be underdeveloped. With the absence of a parenting figure, the child would have a difficult time socially and emotionally, because with no guardian, the child would most like, likely be emotionally unstable or have a hard time interacting with others which affects their behavioral habits. A child's interaction with others as an infant, even with even though they, how they talk as babies is through babbling, the interactions are still another factor of the development. Communication with the baby and their family or the community is around them is very important. Though a way an infant speaks is through babbling gestures and expressions, the family should usually should and usually reacts the same. Playing and talking with the baby the way that way will give give them in the future a better behavior. If the parent or family were not to speak back to the infant, it could cause the baby to have trouble with their behavior or learning abilities. Someone having happy emotions as a child really changes how the child will grow. The family, the feeling of a child helps with the brain to understand thoughts, experiences, and senses. If one were to have bad feelings as a child, whether it be from abuse or loneliness, this will affect how the child will succeed later on. The emotion of a child should not be stressed. This is the time when you learn about yourself and the things around you. The emotion of the child is something to be very wary about because the life of the child will be affected by their emotions. The environment a child is the environment of a child is what influences how the child how the brain developed. From when a child is born to when they are a teenager, teenager, the brain goes through many stages of which are of which are the development of the child. Everyone matures at a different pace. Your maturity all depends on how you've been taught and the way you were taught. Someone can say that a person is more mature than another when in reality they're not. That is because there's different level, levels of maturity and the different levels depend on the different levels of maturity depend on if you cover some areas, and those areas of maturity are intellectually, morally, physically, socially, and emotionally. These all go back to the environment of the child, how, from how they are raised to how they interact with their peers. The experience and relationships a child has changes the maturity level the child is in. That is why many say that parenting and the well-being of a child is very important because it shapes the child's behavior, and the behavior is what the maturity level the child has holds. All that the child has learned from the environment is only affected by the maturity, is not only affected by the maturity, maturity, but it is also becomes hardwired into their brain. A child's brain before they get to the age of one is normally trying to understand the surroundings that the child is put in. That is why. When a child is under the age of one, this is whenever they normally don't have the language nor do they have knowledge of who they are or what they should do. That is why they normally explore their surroundings and listen to the people around them. Though once their brain, but once their brain starts to close certain doors, like language at the age of one, that's usually it's usually the language that they hear, they've heard before they were at the age of one, that they start to speak. The brain, the brain of someone gets harder to rewire the older the person gets. The brain continues to break the ability to understand something the older they get. That is why a child's development is extremely important because if they don't learn certain things before a certain age, it could soon become harder to understand the concept and learn it the, from than the year before.
Jean Pickett's study of cognitive development talks about the process of which a child's, develop, child's brain develops. There are four stages to the, his belief. The four stages being one is the first stage is the sensory stage, which is from the ages of birth to two. And this is the stage when the child is learning to understand the concept of objects and actions and learn the mental representation and schema or schema of an object. The second stage is pre-optional pre stage, sorry, that includes the ages two to seven. This is when the child learns to think of an unreal, of the unreal. So this is when they start to have an imagination. It also is when the ch child becomes more, more about themselves and they don't really like the idea of sharing. The third stage is the concrete stage, and this is for the children of 7 to 11. The children at this age finally realize that not everyone sees things as they do, and they become more self-conscious. And this is when they become, they start to think more rational, or be considered more, a bit more mature. The last stage is when the childs are at the ages of 11 to 16. And this stage is when it, whenever they become more reasonable and they're able to understand and handle more, um, more elaborate situations. So they be, this is actually when they are able to uh, answer more complex questions and understand other situations. Many things that can affect the outcome of how ch children develop, many things can affect how someone is developed. The development of a child is based on the environment the child is placed in, as well as how the environment creates the structure of the brain. The developmental process is very sensitive, be, a very sensitive process that is very important to know because if a child were not raised correctly, that can mess up how the child's life is.